I've posed the same question to everyone I've spoke to today. How hard is it doing something like this without doing spoilers? Uh, it's a good question, isn't it? I don't find it too tough. Do you know? Just don't talk about yeah, it. Yeah, but your answers are so boring. Yeah, that'll be why. Do you know what? This time around, it's actually easier than 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 the first season because we weren't allowed to say anything. At least now, we've all shared season one together, so we can talk about that till the cows come home. Oh. Uh, well, it's less it's less difficult this time round compared to season one, um, because yeah. there's quite a lot of stuff that appears in the trailer that we thought might not be in the trailer, but it is. So yeah, we're kind so of I, a little bit more relaxed. I take that as if it's in the trailer, I can talk about it. I think that's fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> it's a minefield. I mean, but also like I, uh, I, I really like my castmates. You know, actors when they do press always say that, and ninety percent of the time it's an absolute lie. Um, but we actually really get along and like each other. And for me to spoil some of their hard work, would uh, I would be disappointed in myself. And spoil it for, for people that uh, have been thinking about it and are excited to say, you know, you don't want to know how the rabbit comes out of the hat. It ruins the magic. It's such an incredible world. When you went back to season two, did they have to tell you, okay, Here's where we're at now. Kind of like you went back to school for a day <laughs> to give you, you know, everything that you needed to know. Um, <laughs> no one wants to know my answer. Dull, dull, dull. Well, I, I don't know. All you, all you can say is there are great Tolkienian theme themes, right? So, so that means there's going to be a lot at stake. That means there's going to be really tough decisions for each character to make. There'll be a moral choice. There'll be a right and a wrong. And I think the great privilege of doing Rings of Power and and shaping the second age, you know, is that, and at least in terms of Elendil, there's very little that's written about him. So, so all of a sudden, you've got to flesh out this character, make him a fallible human being. So, so you know, there's going to be choices that are very, very difficult to make. Um, and I, uh, yeah, but at least between faith, love of family, love of uh, country, and that's going to put him in a lot of very, very difficult circumstances. Yes, we have experts and and help. But luckily, most of us were pretty die-hard fans to begin with. You know, we we uh, you know were having arguments about Gil Galad's parentage in rehearsals. But um, when you get stumped, or when you're working on the intricacies of Quenya pronunciation, we have some of the best people on the planet. Um, there to help you. So you so. avoid spoilers by just talking over here. You go, like, I'll give you something better than a spoiler. I'll yeah. give you complexity. I'll give you history. I'll give you depth. Everything we, we, we got told at the beginning of, well, actually at the end of season one, we got, we got told where we were going in season two. Um, and, and, and therefore, um, so when the scripts landed, you know, we were off. Uh, and luckily for us, the, the the boys, I feel like the boys enjoy writing for the dwarves, uh, and therefore you can feel that enjoyment coming through the page, and, and, it, and it passes on to us. Virgin so Radio. it's you know it's exciting. It really is. It really is exciting. I've absolutely loved um, shooting season two more than season one. Uh, Costume-wise, like this is one for the nerds and me. <laughs> what are the like? Painful, sore? Are you happy? You are constantly complaining. Oh, yeah. <laughs> rightfully so. Oh, were those dwarves complaining again? <laughs> Basically, it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, in, in fairness, they got a lot to complain about. Yeah. They're up really early. Yeah, those yeah, two. yeah, yeah. yeah. And in fact, I think uh, one day you got to get a wine to do how to take a wee with a with a beard that that's that long and how to get his trousers. Anyway, it's another story. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. Honestly, it's all of what you said but I'm happy to wear it at the same time. You know, it's like, it's, I get, it it's infuriates beard, me. It, at lunchtime, I hate it because I'm eating ah, half of the yak hair that's, 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 that's on my face. So I'm constantly picking up my beard as I'm eating and she's there kind of going, num, 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 in a dressing gown. In a dressing gown? That's your outfit. Do you know how much that wig weighs? Wig. The boots. The eyes. Yeah. The prosthetic nose. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. dress is not light. It's encrusted with jewels. I've got a talk doing this. <laughs> I'm 
I was thrilled when they were stripped from their royalty because I didn't have to wear that big talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, for me to complain about my wardrobe would, would really be an insult to the orcs and uh, the dwarves who you know, sent in hours of prosthetics and oh, I know Arthur who, who plays uh, Durin. You know, he has to have this contraption he carries around that runs a cooling tube around his wardrobe so that he doesn't pass out. Um, so I can't really complain that my corset's tight. Um, <laughs> Also, you, you can't complain about a corset for having to wear it for, you know, a few days a year when women had to wear it, you know, for a hundred years. Um, but, uh, I mean, but also that, that's, it's the joy of it, that you're not wearing your clothes. You're not wearing something that's designed for comfort or to look good on Instagram. The, these clothes have a function. And the people that created them and made them created them to serve that function. So you are the canvas for those artists. And if it's a little tight, you just gotta suck it up. Uh, it's all right for me. The armor's pretty, so I've got three different types of armor. I've got the ceremonial, because it's super, it's brilliantly made. Mm -hmm. This tension to detail is extraordinary. It's really rigid. And it's you, it's very hard to fight in. So once we, once we were going through the stunts and learning how to fight, it was like, I can't move my shoulder enough to be able to make that particular sword move. So then, then we developed a, it, they look the same, mm -hmm. but there's, the, the, there's a different material that they use that's softer and is a bit more malleable and give you more flexibility and movement, so all that kind of that's stuff. So that's my hardest thing. I, I mostly wear silk. It's easy breezy. <laughs> Do you ever get it from friends that watch the show to go, tell us what's happening in this? Because all well, your characters, you know, your, your big characters in it, they obviously will want to know what the crack is. Yeah, I think they do ask, or they ask when you're filming as well. I've had friends ask, and they're always very curious as to what new characters are in it, and, you know, I try and not tell them. No. Yeah. You're just going to say, well, you've got to wait and see, like everyone else. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it was that, that particular experience, because of pandemic, mm. because of being an urban family altogether, even though it was Leon's hometown, but you know we were you know we came to dinner we hung out we you know he showed us around we we yeah it was just it was a, and also because you know we're even though there's quite a lot of us in this particular cast there's not many people who are in Amazon Prime's Tolkien's Rings of Power it's mm. quite it's quite a particular experience to be going through this and it's it's really bonded us and we and I think yeah that 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 year year and a half together was very very special mm. and we do actually get on and in fairness to JD and Patrick they've chosen quite a lot of people who are who are part of the gang, prepared yeah. to be part of the gang. I think they said when they were casting they were looking for people who had Middle Earth in them. And at the time I went, what does that mean? And then having hung out with everybody, you go, oh yeah, there is something here. There is some sense of family, some sense of shared value, yeah. some sense of community. That Apart from Max is and Baldry, obviously. Yeah, but, but yeah, you know. Making it work. Imagine